This is Wayne Coffey of the Daily News and welcome to the 131st U.S. Open. The rain has stopped, Irene is gone, and the Open will run for the next two weeks. And uh, probably the biggest name and the, uh, and the favorite to win the tournament on the, on the men's side is Novak Djokovic, who's going for his third Grand Slam victory of the year, is the world's hottest player, coming off of a shoulder injury, but he's still uh, very much a favorite. Uh, along with uh, with the perennial uh, perennial favorites and uh, former number one players Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. I don't think it's over. Look, you know, I, I, you know, both of them they're they're playing incredible tennis still. You know, even though maybe Roger didn't have uh, the year as successful as he had in the last five six years. I still think he's he's playing really well, and he's he's I, I'm sure very much motivated to come back to to the number one of the world, and and from all of us he knows he knows the best how it is to win the major events because he's record holder, he has 16 Grand Slams, he has a fantastic career. And on the women's side, I'd say that uh, Serena Williams, even though she's had uh, an injury plague year, has had a very torrid summer has been playing great and she is probably among the favorites to win this year. One, one uh, major upset has already occurred. The Wimbledon champion Petra Kivitova of the Czech Republic uh, lost in the first round to uh, Alexandra Dolgaru in straight sets. So the Wimbledon champion has already exited and uh, that can't help but be good for, uh, for Serena Williams and the other favorites on the women's side. Uh, Djokovic will be playing his first match in Arthur Ashe Stadium in the day session tomorrow against Connor Nyland of Ireland. It uh, doesn't figure to be uh, too much of a struggle for him, but uh, if we've, I've learned anything in over 20 years of covering the U.S. Open, uh, one never knows what might happen at this tournament.